In this video, we're taking these two brand new one tenth scale WPL K trucks. And we're going to race them around my indoor track to see which one is the fastest. Actually, we're gonna race three, because we've got that one as well. So we've got a bus, a crew cab, and a normal single cab pickup. I think I know which one's gonna be the fastest. So these are the two newest offerings from WPL's D-Series. And as you can see, they're officially licensed. These are the, I think, it, I don't know how it's pronounced, Tanjin Defar, Tanjin Defar. These are little K trucks that are really popular in China. It sits on what is predominantly a, well, not metal, but, a D12 chassis. This was the very first D series from WPL. Sat on a shelf for a while. When they were introduced, I think it was oh, probably two years ago now, uh, maybe not quite. Ridiculously popular, like crazy popular. People were drifting them, cu customizing them, drifting them, making Hoonigan body kits for them. The lot. Anyway, oh, look at that box. Can you see that? Look, it's like a 3D. Got like a textured top as well. One temp scale, fully proportional. People always question the scale of these. These are small trucks. So when we say one temp scale, they are one temp because the actual real ones are so small. It means these really sit on a, what would be a 1 16th chassis of like a normal car. Not quite as red as it looks on the box, but still a nice detailed truck. I love how the battery tray locks with the spare wheel. That front suspension's definitely been tuned since the last one. Here's the old one. Yeah. That's nice, really nice, I like that. So this is a single cab version, comes in two different colors. Transmitter's got steering trim, it's also got a steering rate and a throttle rate, so you can increase your steering angle, so you can get like, show you properly, but you can get really tight angles with that. And then you've got like a two-speed throttle rate, you get a load of stickers, get a few little spare bits, a rod ends, a leaf spring, a little end for your drive shaft, charger, little 600 milliamp hour um, battery, lithium ion, mirror glass, it's not real glass, but you know what I mean. You get mirrors, door handles, little grill and stuff like that, screwdriver, set of instructions, and that is about all you get. We have the full fleet. <laughs> Can't remember what colours that comes in. Um, that comes in like this off-white colour. And then there's a blue. And this one comes in this sort of maroony kind of red colour. And I think that also comes in a blue as well. I'm not 100% sure, but there is the full fleet. You'll see that actually, let's, let's put them in order. So that's the shortest one and then a little bit longer there. And then that one's the longer one. So full interior there with rear seat on this one. No windows which is good because you have a driver who can chill out with his arm out the window enjoying the sunshine. That's the interior of that one. Obviously this one's the crew cab. They've definitely done some work on that suspension. So it's rear wheel drive. It's got a locked axle on the back there. You can get a metal axle upgrade. You can get upgraded drive shafts as well. And then that's the suspension there, adjustable. Tie rods there for camber and tow. You can also adjust the caster slightly on these. And I've seen some crazy drift ones of that D12. So as you can see there, you've got lights that connect to the electronics. You've got a little three wire servo there. And then you've got, I think, is that a 260 or a 230 motor? You may be able to squeeze like a 380 in there. I can't remember. Plenty of power for this. Anything more, and this thing just goes flying, especially on carpet. So you've got your leaf sprung suspension at the back there, nice and scale looking. This is where all your steering and suspension is. So you've got like a little torsion bar that just goes along there, held in by them screws and that gives you that suspension that feels like a, i keep saying it but it does feel a lot better just see some screws in there you can just slightly adjust your caster angle and then the battery sits in the tray there right i'm gonna get all the little accessories and stuff on and some, put some stickers on i'm gonna charge the batteries and then then i'll show you the two speeds and the two steering rates and then it's time for some time trials so the track is still under construction but we're at a point where we can definitely run some cars around it. Ignoring that line for the time being, the actual start is gonna be here. Because I've not completely finished it yet, I'm not gonna put any markings down, but the lap timer I've got will go there, and this will be the start of the lap. You come up here, little hairpin round, and then down the straight, some slight 
kinks in there so it's not dead straight this is going to change because some this is too tight for some of the stuff but because these little k trucks are designed for movability and you know getting all around the cities i've made a nice little tight turn here so they've got to get around there around the top and then back around there so that's going to test their uh, maneuverability and then up here through this little twisty bit arrows just so i don't forget where i'm going up here around the corner and then around there little hairpin there and then back around to the start finish line i just measured this up against the d12 it's actually a, a little bit shorter wheelbase so when you first switch it on the lights will flash like that you just go all the way one way and the other or i think you just have to go all the way one way and then you're good to go so that's um, in the low setting for steering press the button on the controller and then you get a nice lock on it like that and then throttle normal speed high speed so this is normal rate steering and now this is the high rate <laughs> that's mad i reckon we could get all the way around oh easy look <laughs> so i'm going to go against my own rules for this little time trial and we've not got drivers one i haven't got enough for all of these and two they're already top heavy so i don't want to be adding any more weight so i decided to take the d22 the single cab first i knew this one was going to probably handle the best so i thought we'll start off with the best handling one so i could get used to the track it means by the end i should be able to give i should be able to give what i think is going to be the worst handling one a good chance of some clean laps see this thing is so much fun and it does drive really well it look kicks that back wheel up but it just stays planted and i got some really good times i just leave you with the rest of this footage and then i will show you my fastest lap Oh no, Marshall, Marshall. Here we go, fastest lap from the D22. Oh. So straight into the D32 now. Instantly, I could tell it had a little bit more weight up top. And this thing as well, even though it's a bit more top heavy, that front just digs in. That new suspension is doing wonders for this. It does have a little issue with axle jumping on the rear. It tries to tip forward with that weight bias, but still, as you can see, loads of fun. So I'll just let you finish watching this thing cruising around. And then again, we will have a look at the fastest lap for D32. Oh, this is going to be the fastest if I can keep on its wheels. Oh, clean. And then we get on to the fun bus. <laughs> and it was fun, but it liked to roll over. And I'll just leave you with a little montage of it rolling over. <laughs> <laughs> 18 4 see if we can get into the 17s full throw <laughs> oh that's clean Shoot, that's clean
17-4. So between all three of them was only a second. 15-4, 16-4, and then a 17-4 for the fun bus. After doing all the laps of all three of them, I did take this out again, and I managed a 14-9. This thing is really good fun. Obviously, they're not designed for racing around an indoor carpet track, but you can see you can have a laugh with them. They're really good for scale driving as well. Fill the bed up with all sorts of stuff, and these things are really good. A good, fun truck from WPL. Really impressed with that front suspension setup. The rear's not too bad either. That's my favorite for going around the track. And I think that's my favorite for looks and just <laughs> how fun it was lifting that back end up. Cheers for watching, links in the description. I'll see you next time.